Hi everyone! Uterpy Music is the Key is thrilled to present a half hour film dedicated to the musical form known as Fugue. We'll begin by introducing a round. This is one of a series of music education performance films presented in both English and French by Uterpy Music is the Key. The fabulous performers and musical instruments you'll see and hear in this video are. Hi, my name is Catherine, and I play the piano. Hi, I'm Corey, and my string instrument is the violin. Hi, my name is Norman, and I play the viola. Hi, I'm Tom, and my instrument is the cello. Hi, my name's George, and I play the bass. Hi, I'm Allison, and my instrument is the alto saxophone. Hi, my name is Alex, and I play the trumpet. Hi, I am Juan. My instrument is the percussion. Hey, what's up? My name is Adrian, and I play the drums. In this film, our fantastic band will play one round and four contrasting fugues, each written by a different composer. What is a composer? Well, composers are people who have musical melodies, musical notes, and musical ideas swirling around in their minds and hearts. And they write their musical ideas on paper so that performers like us can play the music and bring the composer's musical ideas to life for everyone to enjoy. The famous nursery rhyme, row, row, row your boat, is a musical form that's called a round because the melody known as the musical sentence, keeps going round and round and round. You'll hear the band play the melody, and then you'll hear them perform the round. Listen as the musical sentence enters one after the other on different instruments, interweaving with each other, forming a harmonious sound. is called a fugue because unlike row 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 your boat where the musical sentence just keeps going round and round the fugue musical sentence is developed with many variations creating a conversation between the instruments the greatest fugue composer of all time is Johann Sebastian Bach who was born in Germany Bach wrote his fugue in G minor in 1709. This pop 
popular piece is affectionately known as his Little Fugue. Here's the musical sentence. Listen really carefully and count how many times you hear this musical sentence. Vivaldi was born in Venice, Italy. He was a prominent composer of the Baroque era. He composed his Sinfonia in E minor for strings and continuo in 1729 to 1730. The great late Canadian composer John Burke arranged the delightful fugue from this work, cleverly coining it I Fugue. This performance of I Fugue was filmed live at Toronto's historical opera house on Queen Street East.
composer John Burke composed Fuga del Sur between 2016 and 2019 for piano and bass. Inspired by Latin musical influences as well as by the fugues of Johann Sebastian Bach, Fuga del Sur means Fugue of the South. This piece, like all of John Burke's compositions, is challenging and interesting, and it also has a sense of humor that performers George and Catherine capture beautifully. Here it is, Fuga del Sur. The Venezuelan composer Aldemaro Romero was known for mixing popular songs and folk elements with classical forms. His piece Fuga con Pajarillo is a wonderful example of this and is one of his most well-known compositions. The Pajarillo is a popular Venezuelan dance in three and Romero pairs this with a complex fugue making for an exciting, highly syncopated work. Syncopation means that the strong notes are not on the beat. So instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, it is one, two, three, one, two, three.
Music was just something that I just loved and it was a passion of mine. When I went on a drum set, it just kind of made sense. My name is Adrian Bent. I'm a drummer and a composer. Most of the time when I'm performing on stage, it's hip hop, R&B, soul. Being on stage, it's, it's no other feeling. It's just humbling. Being able to play for people, it's just a beautiful feeling to be honest. Seeing someone at a high level perform, it's only going to make you want to get better. It inspires those kids to be like, hey, I want to be able to spread joy and love through music. I can hopefully get to that level one day. When you see a performer live in person, you get to speak to them, you get to ask them questions. It makes such a huge difference. And I find with Euterpe, when they're doing their thing, there's that human connection that makes them feel like, hey, maybe I can learn this, or maybe I can do this. Euterpe's music education performance programs are so inspirational for children. With classical music, I find there's a certain like intricacy that comes with it. So you're hearing the cello, you're hearing the violas, you're hearing the violin. Your mind has to be able to break apart, okay, what are these things doing? As a composer, as a producer, it really opened up my ears and, and world to just a different style of music. Having music definitely grounds you, gives you a sense of discipline. And if you have that from a young age, it just helps you propel throughout life. I'm still in the studio doing what I love. It's kind of like my outlet, my hobby, my job, my getaway. For me personally, it's more so, how can I be the best version of myself? I just try my best to always compose knowing that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So as long as you're trying your best and, and making strides every single day to get better, that's all that really matters. We hope you had fun and that you enjoyed learning a little bit about the round and fugue and hearing this beautiful music played by our world-class performers. Check out the other videos in our series and learn more at musicisthekey.org. <laughs>